Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Ke, and I'm from Shenzhen of China. I'm honored to be here. I will share something about building our financial cloud. I will focus on first three questions. For the fourth part, I will have two experts to introduce and explain the solutions provided by Mirantis. The first question is, what kind of crowds are we building? Before answer this question, I want to tell you the background about our company. Shenzhen Stock Exchange was established in 1990, and it's one of the two stock exchanges in mainland China. Shenzhen SE has 1,700 listed companies with a total market capitalization of 514 billion US dollar by June 2015. It consists of the main board, MSE board, Chilex market. SCSC also has a multi-tiered capital market system for issuers at different stage of growth. Its products include equities, mutual funds, and bonds. SSCC, Shenzhen Securities Communication Corporation, was established in 1993. It's a sub-company of Shenzhen Stock Exchange. It provides communication services, including market data, trading, and clearing for Shenzhen stock market. Meanwhile, it provides a series of IT services for financial institutions. <coughs> Let's look at the picture on the left. From 26 to 2014, the size of Chinese asset management has increased from 3 trillion to 36 trillion. That's a tenfold growth in 10 years. On the right picture, the monthly turnover of Shenzhen market has soared from 2.2 trillion in 2014 to 14.7 trillion in May of 2015. The highest one is about six times of the lowest. As a result of the rapid growth, securities market in China required advanced IT systems with high capability capacity and resilience. In the past two years, the size of many assets has a constant expansion. While more and more financial licenses were issued, the number of financial institutions also increased a lot. By September of 2015, According to the registration information from the AMAC, Asset Management Association of China, the number of the private equity funds has reached 20,000, increasing by 200 percent comparing to the early of 2015. They have managed the assets of 4.5 trillion. These small or medium-sized organizations how to focus on the business which can show their professional abilities and outsource the long core IT to other professional institutions. We see the huge demand of IT system on the above slide. However, we still have to face two major IT problems in current security market of China. First, the traditional IT framework has some problems, such as the tight coupling and vendor locking, high risks, low efficiency, and slow response to the business. So the traditional IT framework needs urgent reform. Second, lacking planning and coordination, scattered resources, the industry's infrastructure lags behind. We believe that cloud computing is the most effective 
technologic means to meet the market demand and solve the business problems, especially for its features such as elastic expansion and quick response. However, the private cloud has some problems like small size, technology weakness, and slow application migration. It is also difficult for the public cloud to fulfill the requirements of data security and regulation. For the time being, by combining both industry and private clouds, the hybrid cloud structure is relatively suitable for the financial industry solution in China. As one of the main IT provider in, sorry. As one of the main IT providers in the financial industry, the SACC is now constructing and operating financial cloud. This will be our main strategic transformation. The financial cloud that we are building is an open, cooperative, and win-win ecosystem. Based on an open cloud platform, many SVs, independent software vendors, provide the rich application software, software services. Each financial institution can choose from two or more suppliers. This diagram shows the layer service architecture of our financial cloud. Our company mainly focuses on offering the basic services like ICE, and we work together with our partners, some SVs, to offer PaaS and SaaS. Customers can use various service applications they need. This financial cloud has four features. First, open. We use the mainstream open source cloud platform, and our platform is open to all our partners. Second, neutral. We send stock exchange as our shareholder. SSCC has enough credibility and be the independent third party on business. So there is no commercial conflict between our company and customers. Third, we have professional infrastructure, technology platform, and application service. They can represent our expertise. Fourth, with service experience of more than 20 years, we can ensure the data security for our customer and regulate regulators. Since 2014, we have launched our financial cloud project. We have established several data centers in China, such as Shenzhen, Shanghai, Beijing, Dongguan, Hong Kong, Wuhan, and some other cities. Our financial cloud has the ability to offer service to customers all around China. I will talk about our new data center under construction in Dongguan. This center covers an area of 130,000 square meters with a 3 billion RMB total investment. The first phase investment is 1 billion RMB with a total capacity of 20,000 racks. The first phase is 5,000. This is a core production center of our financial crown. Then let's talk about the cloud management system. This system manages the infrastructure of our cloud, including computing, storage, and networks. It handles all the resource requests from application systems. This system is an essential software component of our financial cloud. Later, I will focus on discuss our choice. After exploration and practice in last two years, we have successfully run a series of industry applications on our financial cloud. The first one is a market data cloud. We have established ICE platform in four cities in China, and securities company set up their service on this platform. With this service, 
investors around China can get real-time market data information through internet. With this cloud, a securities company can reduce cost by 30%, and its response time of system expansion shrinks 90%. Up to now, the maximum number of online users at this same time is more than 1.2 million, and more than 12 million visitors daily. The second one is Found Cloud. Our company offers the basic eyes, and ISV offer applications that the mature funds need. Fund companies run the standardized SaaS service on demand. As a result, it can reduce operation costs and save the provision time. The third case is our business innovation for use and face recognition. We help the securities company to build an online open account system on the financial cloud. It saves time and reduces costs by using the face recognition technology. Up to now, dozens of financial software vendors have become cooperative partners with our financial cloud, and the ISV community began to take shape. Here are the logos of some software vendors. They cover the areas of asset management, market data information service, and quantitative trading, and so on. They can provide financial customers with various application software services. We have a phased development plan for the financial cloud. The first phase is exploration period, and the cloud size reached to 600 nodes or 12,000 VM. The second phase is ecologic cultivation, reaching to 1,200 nodes or 24,000 VM. The third phase is a mature stage, reaching to 3,000 nodes or 60,000 VM. As I mentioned earlier, cloud management system is a core of our financial cloud. I will talk about why we choose OpenStack. We want our financial cloud ecologic to be open, collaborative, and win-win. The technology roadmap is consistent with the same open spirit. We want to avoid single vendor locking. When we choose open source software, we could invest on R&D and innovation to optimize and design so that our cloud platform can be the requirement of financial customers. We could master the cloud platform technology and enhance our capability to compete in market. OpenStack currently has the largest ecosystem, including hardware vendors and software vendors. Compared to other open source cloud platform software, OpenStack community is the most active. OpenStack enables new technologies such as Docker and Ceph to be integrated fast. Soon, our new Dongguan data center will be ready for operation. Then we will have a large number of racks, large scale, scalability, and high performance is the design goal of OpenStack. That this is in line with our requirements. OpenStack has a good cloud plan for API interface. Accounting for this, we can build a software-defined data center and create a personalized business support system. OpenStack has a release every half a year. The function is more and more rich and perfect. The enterprise can choose the right components according to their own needs. We choose Mirantis to help build our cloud, and why? There are a lot of big companies and startups focused on OpenStack private cloud. I would like to share some points. Open source and technology are two of the most important factors when choosing a service vendor for us. Mirantis is well known in OpenStack community and enterprise cloud market. The design solution 
are fully based on customer requirements. As financial cloud provider, we have a lot of special feature demand. We can always satisf satisfy through customer design. Another aspect that makes us choose Mirantis is that their solution is totally zero locking. The product can be integrated with various open source and commercial hypervisors, storages, and SDN solutions. This gives us the flexibility to build cloud for complex use cases. Well, as the time is limited, I have to stop here. Let's welcome the CTO of Mirantz China, Mr. Zhou Ting, to share the overall solution. Hello, thank you, David. Uh, my name is Tian Zhao, and I'm the CTO for Mirantis China. Um, uh, this is my second time giving the presentation in the OpenStack Summit, but it is my first time to represent Mirantis to talk about some successful story for our customer. Uh, well, I have been living in the Silicon Valley for 16 years before I took Mirantis' uh, offer to relocate back to Beijing, China to help set up a Mirantis Chinese entity and also ramp up a local Chinese technical team to better serve our local Chinese um, fast-growing OpenStack market. Um, ever since I came back to China, I have been talking to so many large enterprise um, customers and been listening to their requirement for building private, or like this case, um, industry, uh, cloud platform using OpenStack. Um, I think we, are, we, we face a challenge for most of the foreign company because um, uh, the OpenStack in China basically grow, uh, the business is growing very fast, but all the local Chinese customers facing a big uh, top concern. They are concerned about the local support. Um, so I have been talking to the customer, uh, uh, Chinese com customer who not only require a stable enterprise uh, OpenStack software district, they also demand a lot of localized uh, special features and also in industry related features, just like this case. As we just heard about uh, from, from Shenzhen Stock Change, um, actually uh, Shenzhen Stock Change is planning to build a pretty large scalable uh, financial industry cloud. And uh, we, we have been uh, working with them to make sure the customer success is always our first priority. And we usually help our customer to go through, uh, uh, to achieve their business goals through three stages in our project. Mirantis usually starts engaging with the customer in a very early stage to make sure that the cloud they are building actually can meet their business needs instead of just blindly following the latest technology trend. And once the project gets kicked off, we usually sit down with the customer face to face and its senior technical team, three to five days a workshop intensively discuss with the customer about to help them an analyze their business needs and also try to understand the design of the, the customer's existing or future workload. Clear any doubts with the customer about the requirement from about uh, in security, networking, storage, or reliability uh, requirements. Um, once, once we kick off the project, we, we work with the customer to, uh, to uh, uh, create an um, architecture blueprint, we call it architecture blueprint, with detailed cloud architecture de uh, design, including uh, recommended underlay network topolog topologies, storage, storage de design, SDN controller design, or even hardware recommend recommend recommendation list, etc. And uh, the second phase we call the customization and deployment based on the previous uh, architecture blueprint. In case customer needs any customized uh, integration, we help customer to fully automate this work through our few plugin because we believe the automation is must have for building a large uh, enterprise ready cloud. And once the deployment is done, we also uh, perform a full-blown uh, 
health check automated test test script to make sure the cloud is functioning correctly. The final stage, uh, in the final stage, for the most mission critical workloads, it's very important the cloud is always available. So Mirantis provides the customer different level of technical support, 8x5, 20, 20, 24x7, or even proactive support. Proactive support includes a uh, customer successful manager to make sure customer's goal can always be achieved at any time. So at Sentence Stock Change, Mirantis was asked to deliver a secure, stable cloud platform. Uh, this picture basically tells about a very high level architecture design in our phase one projects. We are using KVN as our, Mirantis, uh, as our uh, hypervisor for the Mirantis OpenStack because we believe uh, uh, KVN is best tested and supported in OpenStack community. Both uh, distributed storage solutions, Ceph, and traditional uh, SAN storage are supported to provide a multiple choice for Cinda backend. Juniper Open Control is cho cho chosen because we believe it's an uh, um, open source SDN solution ready for large scale security deployment with some extra features such as service chain. And it is also very well, very well integrated with Mirantis OpenStack Fuel to provide automatic deployment for SDN solution. We implement high availability in almost in all components in this cloud, including but not limited to OpenStack API, MySQL, RabbitMQ, Ceph, SDN components, or SAN storage com uh, uh, array. Uh, we use our uh, tool deployment tool field to deploy and manage all components in the cloud itself. The end-to-end -end process is fully automated. Uh, the LMA tool chains in Mirantis OpenStack 7.0 provide the next generation login, monitoring, and alerting uh, solution for the cloud. And we are, you, we are going to use Murano to, uh, to deploy and provide the financial workloads if needed, and also using Sahara to spin up, uh, quickly spin up a, a big data Hadoop cluster if needed. So now I'm going to ask our solution architect, Ya Guangtang, to spend a little bit more time to do a quick deep dive in each area. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Tang Ya Guang. Uh, I joined Marantis China for almost a year. And before that, I'm working for Canonical and also for the OpenStack area. And today, I would like to share uh, uh, the, some uh, the details of our solution for the SSCC. And the first is the, uh, the Juniper Country as the selected SDN solution. And uh, together with SSCC, uh, we have chosen Juniper Country as the SDN controller to provide a stable, a scalable, and a secure virtual networking solution. And the Juniper SDN controller is deployed in HA mode, uh, combining the different controller components uh, on a single node. Also, the data plane and the node source uh, traffic are in HA mode with uh, control by lowering the scale out uh, your nodes and the source gateways. And uh, horizontally scalable is uh, so. One of the major uh, benefits of Juniper Control is the independence of uh, central L3 agent uh, and the running the what we rotor on each compute node. Each compute house is responsible for its own uh, instances, distributed uh, load and uh, solutions the failure domain. So this is uh, uh, much different from the community open source neutron uh, uh, solution. We know that one of the uh, major uh, uh, issue uh, in the neutron so far is that the central l agent and uh, we have, uh, we already have a solution called DVR. Uh, we have the uh, distributed virtual net routing, but uh, it requires uh, almost every node to be a gateway. It's uh, very flat. 
Uh, Juniper's uh, gateway is uh, scalable through the hardware. And uh, uh, Juniper OSD also provides service chaining for the advanced uh, security services such as the WDPI and the virtual firewall. And uh, one of the another benefit is the Juniper uh, as as solution is is also no hardware login. Control works with any underlay switches and uh, multiple hardware gateways. This is also one of the requirements of SSCC. They they didn't they don't want to any uh, hardware uh, locked in solution, include the storage and the networking, and also the hypervisor. And uh, Juniper also provides uh, the advanced networking analysis of the whole networking, including traffic inspection and uh, topology virtualization. So this is very uh, useful for the cloud administrators. And uh, the next is that we not only build uh, the HA solution for the software networking layer, and we also build uh, uh, the cloud solution for the hardware, and uh, so this is a total solution, not only OpenStack. We have helped SSCC to design the net, uh, the hardware, and the uh, the rack. So the the solution is like that, and uh, the each rack we have the TLR switches, and uh, the two switches are bonding through the RACP uh, protocol and uh, all the two are to span all the level three so that we can see uh, from this uh, the, the picture that all the networking traffic is reducted as a result so uh, we not only build the HA in the software side and uh, also the hardware side to uh, to make sure that uh, the uh, mission critical applications are always useful use and the next is our uh, storage design for uh, for the uh, the requirements. As you, as 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 we know that uh, for the uh, financial industry, they have some uh, mission critical uh, applications with guaranteed uh, high performance and the reliability uh, requirements. For this workload, we want a dedicated sun storage with have available uh, multi-links for the optical uh, reliability and the performance. The downside of sense storage is cost inefficiency and uh, scalability. Sense storage is exposed as a, a cinder backend. But we know that uh, likely most of the workloads are only need high reliability and uh, medium to high performance. So for those workloads, we utilize uh, the SAF, a uh, distributed storage software solution that provides both reliability and uh, uh, scalability cost efficiently. Um, we utilize uh, two different SAF pools. One is the SAF SAS pool, which is posed as a cinder backend and also as the uh, for a first you know, uh, storage for NOAA. And in this way, we can provide the live migration functionality and provide a quick uh, uh, backup and uh, recovery of compute news. And uh, for the self SSD pool, which is only opposed as a cinder backend, users can create volumes for high performance workloads from this SSD pool. Depending on the workload, users are free to choose which cinder backend to use. For example, we could use a uh, self SAS pool for the operating system disk and uh, uh, SSD pool for the uh, MySQL application. And the other is uh, the big data on the uh, big cloud. And, uh, 
establish uh, data processing on cloud is one of SSCC's uh, use case. The one on demand automated Hadoop cluster for the uh, small jobs. We are using OpenStack's core project Sahara, combined with uh, Cinder's uh, feature. Uh, they have uh, Cinder have a block device driver which can use the uh, physical housed uh, disk uh, provided to the virtual house, the the VM. So. A group of servers are set to be a uh, host aggregate and uh, uh, expose physical disk to the HDFS VMs. So in this way, we, we, uh, we, we make it possible to run Hadoop cluster uh, on the OpenStack with no performance issue. And uh, the next uh, for Moreno, um, Moreno is also one of the core project of OpenStack is for the application catalog. For we use Moreno to enable cloud administrators to publish various cloud-ready financial applications in a browsable catalog, catalyzed uh, catalog. It can also be integrated with the enterprise BSS system. With Moreno, we can make cloud and the users do self-service application provisioning repeatable deployments for port and staging environments, and the standard building blocks for different application stacks. And the last is the LMA. Martins provides uh, a solution for logging, monitoring, and alerting of the OpenStack cloud. As we know that uh, we, we build cloud not only we finished, we have to uh, do a lot of work uh, to to run, to make the cloud uh, works, uh, or, uh, works uh, successful, to make the cloud applications works, and we have to do, we have to design marketing solution. The LMA is one of the marketing uh, uh, solution. Two chain is, this two chain is service originated marketing solution. It's comprised a collection of open source tools to help you monitor and uh, diagnose service availability uh, problems in your OpenStack environments at the uh, infrastructure level. By combining the uh, established search with uh, Kibana, the LMA to chain provides an effective uh, way to search and uh, Create all service of aging events that occur in the system for the root cause and analysis, in including logs and the notifications from the uh, OpenStack Rabbit, Rabbit uh, message bus. Likewise, uh, by combining the InfluxDB with uh, Grafana, the algorithmic to chain also brings uh, insightful metrics uh, analysis and to virtualize the how OpenStack behaves over the time. So with uh, this tool, we can do uh, log analysis and troubleshooting, and we can also monitor the all OpenStack services healthy, healthy status. And um, we can also uh, using this to do uh, more further work because it uh, formalizes all the data and in your uh, standard format, you can use the data for uh, other use cases. So this solution uh, provides uh, a way that we can monitor uh, the cloud in, in a virtualized way. So this is uh, the, the some details of our design solution for, for, for SSCC. And uh, for any questions? Uh, firstly, are you posting a copy of this presentation anywhere? And secondly, if you could do this again, what are the one or two lessons that you've learned from developing this FSI cloud uh, on OpenStack? Sure. Uh, let me take this question. Uh, 
Uh, definitely, uh, we will post this uh, presentation. Also, I think, I don't know whether this time we have video shooting and it will be posted online. And definitely, th this presentation will be posted on the openstat.org, I guess. Uh, if not, you can, you, can, you can talk to me offline. I can send you a presentation. And uh, I want to emphasize, basically, this is in the, in the early stage for our phase one project. Right now, we finish our architecture design, and we actually in the middle of uh, deployment. So actually, we are planning to do another sharing for the next year to talk about the lessons we learned and the scalability. Even I, I think uh, till next April, we, we will have this financial uh, cloud uh, online already. We, we target to bring it online early next year. So at that time, definitely we can share a lot more about the lessons we learned in the deployment stage and also the lessons we learned when, after we bring it online, right? So stay tuned, we will, we will share, share later, yeah. yeah. Actually, I have a question, so about your IMA. So you just mentioned you can capture the log, uh, arrows from the, from the logs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious that you will get uh, error information from the uh, OpenStack log, uh, uh, log file, for example, the yes. Nova log file, Cinder yes. log file, and show it, as a, uh, show it in the GUI. Yes. So we, uh, we are uh, collecting the, uh, the, all the uh, log files from the computer news and the controller news and uh, send them to the uh, established search for the virtualized uh, showing. You can select uh, filtering the error messages. It's a way, it's a, a, a tool to help the uh, cloud administrator to troubleshooting and uh, uh, to check the cloud health status. Okay. Another question is that: Do you have do you have any uh, additional tools to do that, or are you just uh, building your your package? We are all using the op uh, open source tools, so we're using the. Uh, uh, collect uh, in the computer nodes to configure it, plug in to collect uh, the files and uh, sending them to uh, uh, IMA collector centrally and then um, put them to the uh, uh, to establish search. Okay, so, thank so you. Yeah, yeah, always open source. You can also using it with yeah. uh, just install the LMA plugin. I just want to add one more. Basically, LMA is a new feature or new tool set we released in Mirantis OpenStack 7.0. And mo actually, it's based on the open, open source tools. And the backend actually based on all the Nova and the Cinda uh, backend da log database as well. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. So since this is a financial application, so what are the performance comparison you're planning to make like before moving to cloud and now? As you said, you are in the middle of the deployment, sure. right? So what are the performance indicators you're going to measure in terms of concurrent API mm -hmm. or the transactions per minute or the okay. number of devices, you know? Sure. Uh, let, let me take half of your question and I'll leave another half question to Ms. David. And actually from what I know, actually, Shenzhen Stock Change or uh, SSCC already have a small environment. It's around a dozen of nodes based on the OpenStack environment. They are already online. They take, already take the customer request and they have real customer running on this OpenStack environment already. And uh, I leave the second question about performance uh, I can translate for him. 这样就是我们现在在线上跑的这些系统都是一些中小的金融机构他们的一些应用系统所以我们经过测试对比以后跟原有的不在云上的这个性能相差很小所以我们这个跟客户把测试结果展示以后他们都认可这样的一个变化这
my question is if SSAC have a special requirement on Marantes distribution, how do you fulfill their requirement? You want to pull into OpenStack community or you want to pull your own version? Uh, yes, that's a very good question. Actually, um, um, I'm, uh, after I talked to those so many uh, enterprise customers, I'm uh, actually uh, Shenzhen Stock Change is definitely the pioneer of those, 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 uh, those customers who want to try OpenStack. And I think, um, uh, I'm proud actually, we figured out a way to deliver their request uh, using the Mirantis Global OpenStack uh, engineering, engineering talent pool along with our Chinese local young engineer talents to combine together to deliver their request. And we, we actually, this morning, we even talked to another uh, big player in OpenStack Foundation. We want to, Ms. David actually would like to contribute a lot of uh, work they, 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 they will do in the OpenStack back to the community, especially in the security area, actually. Security is very important uh, concern for financial institute. And the Shenzhen Stock Exchange will do a lot of uh, work in the security to help Mirantis OpenStack or even OpenStack community to, to enhance these security features. And already there's some effort, not, uh, not only along with Mirantis, even with other platinum number in the OpenStack Foundation, we want, want to contribute back to the OpenStack community. Yeah. Thank you. Um, how is a financial cloud different, different from a common cloud? Okay. I think I, I, I should be able to provide this. You can <laughs> add more. Uh, Thank you. Actually, this is financial, we call it financial industry cloud, or we can call it financial community cloud. It's, it's kind of public cloud, but it's not open to the common consumer. It's only open to a, the set of the customer uh, from Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Those customers mostly are small business, financial institu institutes, some small banks, maybe brokers, traders, so it's not common, you common consumer, individual consumer, yeah. Uh, how is the cloud different to satisfy those financial ones? So, uh, so yeah, how should the cloud be different? Uh, there should be some difference from in the cl financial cloud from a common cloud. How is the cloud different to satisfy those different needs? Um, I, I think actually, uh, uh, David mentioned in his uh, s uh, presentation, secure, stable, and also um, the security of the data, right? And also the stable, how stable the cloud it is, it's most important. Actually, David even mentioned to me the cost, the price, it's not his top concern. Uh, that's probably somehow a little bit different with the common, common public cloud. Uh, David, probably you can add more. So. <laughs> 我们现在的一个主要的两个方向一个就是把这个OpenStack这样的一些云的技术首先运用在这些中小的金融机构因为他们的IT力量非常弱 作为一个更大的资源池,对接到这些大的金融机构的它的这个私有云,形成一个混合云的这样一个。Yes, actually I forgot to add that. Actually, uh, there are two, two, two customer tar target customer pools. Right now, actually, uh, this financial cloud is helping those small, small financial business uh, institute in China because those small financial institutes don't have their private cloud. Their IT is very weak, right? So if they want to leverage the benefits of cloud, actually, they can use the financial cloud provided by SSCC. And later on, once we have this system up and running, we, we, we learn all the lessons, we enhance this system, we think it's ready. We will even talk to those large finance institutes to, become, to integrate with their private cloud, to become somehow the hybrid cloud with them, so that they can migrate their workload in the peak time to this public financial cloud. This is our, actually our goal for this whole project. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Oh, okay. The time okay. is thank up. You oh, all right, thank you for coming. Thanks. Thank you.